what is a switch map and how you're gonna use it in your project we are going to discuss that hi everyone this is Subrat and you are watching fun of heuristic so on this channel you will get to know about the programming languages the framework and all about the algorithm so please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet the switch map is used where you want to reset your observable on particular action think like your doorbell so you have the combination of your speaker and the switch consider the doorbell sound may be ding dong and if if you just press once it, it will execute the whole like ding dong but you, you try to press multiple time like ding 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 then dong so this is what basically switch map is when uh, you're pressing the bell it will going to execute or subscribe to an observable but if you press it again before that got finished it will cancel the previous one and re-execute the new subscription so that's why I ding 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 dong now if I'll try to explain in the conceptual point of view then it will try to resubscribe your observable by cancelling the previous subscription so that's what the basically switch map is and again this is a blank project I have created I have just take a counter and I'm just uh, printing that counter as a h1 and with some 350 pixel font size so here we will add our form event in that we'll listen to the document and in that we'll just say on click and this form event will going to give us a observable of event and we can pipe this one with our switch map okay so here what will do is switch map and 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 inside the switch map we'll just run the interval okay an interval of half a second now you can subscribe to this one okay so here we'll just catch the value and we'll assign our counter to our value okay I'll give a semicolon and this is uh, this I am doing inside on init so I will just save I will start the server so what we are doing here is uh, we are listening to the click event inside the DOM means anywhere you click in the DOM and we are piping that and again this will going to give us a uh, observable of event and we are piping that with that with our switch map so what will happen is whenever you, you will click it will going to reset your interval and the interval is also an observable which will going to give a like counter with a certain interval like interval we are giving here is half a second and we are subscribing that and we are assigning this value to our counter so if you see now the number is showing as let's make it full screen at zero because we, uh, we have initialized the counter at zero but what we are saying is whenever there is a click on the DOM then you go and subscribe to this interval observable and if, if you are clicking it again then cancel the previous subscription and resubscribe it again okay so I will just go here and just click on the observable here you can see we are getting the numbers from the interval observable so now I will click, click it once again so again it will reset to zero and it will start increasing the value so you can do it multiple time and this that's what will going to happen so this is what a basic of a switch map is but you are not going to use like this so I want to give a better example than this one so this is just yeah, this is just a famous example it's, and it's easy to understand now we will see where you can use a switch map pretty efficiently and the best example according to me is where you are doing a search option like you when the user is typing you are gives, giving some autocomplete and you are hitting your server and you are showing the result and in that case we can use the debouncing and at, with the debouncing also we can use the switch map because what happened is sometimes the some query take little more time but if the user has stopped typing like for suppose you are giving 300 millisecond or 400 millisecond as a debounce time then it will going to make a call until you get the result if the user has typed it again 
then it will going to cancel the previous one and it will go going to raise another event and which will going to save some memory and some bandwidth of the user. So for that we'll go to our HTML file and we'll add an input field here and here we are adding our form, form control and with a search control as a form control name. So I'll go ahead and add the form control but if you are using multiple form then uh, use a form builder and form group inside that use the form control as we have only one form uh, input field that's why uh, we are going we are using the form control so i will going to use form control equals to new form control and before that i have imported the reactive form module in the app module.ts if you are using the form control form module or form group that comes under reactive form so that's why first you have to import the reactive form module in your app module and then you can import your form group or form module or uh, form builder in your in a component as we have this counter so we will going to use this counter and it thinks it's like a service call we are making to the service so we'll grab this search control okay so the search control uh, dot value change so the value change will also going to give you an observable of of any type which is which is the value and here we can pipe this one with our switch map and debouncing so first we'll go for the debounce so the debounce is debounce time and you can give here the time and if you don't know what the debounce is, then debounce is uh, think like if you, you, you are typing and on every change, like here we are calling on each change in the input field, debounce will, will wait till that time. So this is for a simple point of view, what how it works, but I will make a proper video on de debouncing or you can search uh, what is the debouncing and all and you will be pretty clear on that. So we'll go with a one second and you can pipe multiple observable here then here we'll go and add this switch map thing i'll just copy paste it here and again here we'll just subscribe to that one so i'll just copy paste it here again so what we're doing here is we are on every change of our search controller we are uh, obviously waiting for a uh, one second so Till there is no change for one second then we will going to trigger the switch map and switch map will going to trigger the your interval so instead of interval here you should make your service call and whatever the result you will get you can access it here but here what we are getting is we are getting the counter value that's what we are printing there here you can see it's zero because we are not doing anything I will uh, start typing something I'll just type uh, my name and when I stop then it will start the value think like you have a scenario where the user is typing and we, for the certain query you are getting the result little late so when the user will type the the input value completely then you will going to call it again to fetch the result and the one previous call is it will be wasted if you don't use the switch map but if you are using a switch map then what it will going to do is suppose here uh, I have typed subr uh, and I have waited for one second because that's for debounce time suppose I have, I have waited for one second then it will going to call our server in, in the real case but here it will going to call the interval and it will going to hit the server get the response back and it will run the subscribe okay and in between if the user has entered it again like I, I will enter 80 and the whole subrat then if that query going to take lesser amount of time than the previous one then the result may mismatch in the actual output okay and one more thing is if you don't the previous call it's better to unsubscribe it so that you will not get any result or any value from that I'll just uh, show you here so what I will type is R now it will going to reset and start the call again i will just type uh, type at okay now it will again call uh, cancel the previous one and start with the with the new counter value so this is how you're going to use your switch map with 
the combination of debounce and switch map. So this is pretty useful. Uh, uh, I used it a lot in a lot of scenarios. So that's it for today. Today we saw what is a switch map and how we're gonna use that in our project. Please like the video if you're liking the video till now and please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified for the future videos. And please share this video among your friends, family, colleagues so that everybody will know what is a switch map and how to use that. And please give some valuable comment, suggestion in the comment section below. We're going to meet in the next video. Till that, stay happy. Bye-bye.